Hey guys, are you feeling hard pressed on every side? Got a minute? Paul uses the terms in 2 Corinthians that they are hard pressed on every side and yet not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Does that sound like what you've been going through recently? Even if not, look at what he says in the next verse. Always caring about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. So caring around the death of Jesus so that in his resurrection they also can live. That's a rough thing to carry. How does he do that? Like, What does that even mean? What does that look like? Well, if we carry something, we have it with us. And I think a lot of times we, uh, it almost becomes just old news and second nature that, you know, like the sacrifice that Jesus has done for us and how amazing, how awesome it is. But it's not something that's old news. We've got to take this and we've got to meditate on it. Meditate on his sacrifice. Meditate on the cost that he did. And meditate on the return for what he is getting for the cost that it took him. What he's getting is you. Was it worth it? Maybe you even watch uh, The Passion of the Christ just to get a mindset of what it was like. But once you meditate on this, then it's becoming more real. It's becoming more in the forefront of your mind instead of something that's in the back. And the importance of it is showing through. Now, this might seem overwhelming, especially if you're like, hey, look, I'm not living up to where I think Jesus' death is worth my life. And I think we all feel that way, so you're not alone. But look at verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. So don't lose heart. And as this outward man is perishing, I want you to remember that you want renewal day by day. You want more Jesus in your life. You want to be new. Then every day we've got to get up, meditate on the sacrifice that he's made, and dive in to be closer to him. Because now we have access to a relationship that before the sacrifice we didn't have. So what are you doing today? And what are you meditating on today? And how is that getting you closer to God? Thanks for taking a minute.